planes are the first piece of equipment to arrive on a building site and the last to come down. They are also a bellwether of the economy. If you need proof, look at London's skyline, which is dotted with cranes. It's a sign of the capital's dominance that between 2010 and 2013, there were more cranes at work in the capital than the rest of Britain put together. I've been looking at cranes for three years, writing about infrastructure for the Financial Times. From the new Crossrail train line to the King's Cross redevelopment, London is seething with new projects. But I've always wondered, what is it like to drive a crane? I met with Mike Putnam, the UK Chief Executive of one of the world's largest building companies, Skanska. We went to the site near Doncaster, where they taught me how to drive a crane. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. So this is your slewing brake. Okay. So you need to release that and then pull that to me. Nice and steady. Stop, that's it, that's it. Yeah. It's... It goes quite fast. Yeah. I want to knock his head. So, again, you put the, switch, the spring brake back on now. Pull that back to the middle. All right. Middle, that's it. That's it. Right, you need to come a little bit more. It doesn't take me long to realise it's quite hard work. It takes intense concentration over a long period of time. And you really don't want it to go wrong because the potential for damage is immense. Oops. Oops. Hold it. Oops. It's okay. So down. down, straight down. So you can see what's happened, the chains have got caught around the load. Hold it. <laughs> Not whack his head. Mm. You can see also how careful you have to be in terms yes. of wrapping fingers and hands. Yes, and absolutely. That's why media you, you've got to well, once you get more experience you're aware of basically you should know whenever they're going to signal making a yeah. signal It does feel like one of those fair ma machines, doesn't it, where you pick up the teddy bear, essentially. We've lifted a, um, an auger, a drilling bucket, and then finally a coaster at the end, which was the real skill piece, lifting just a very small object and placing it into a small letterbox. All successfully and safely, most importantly, achieved. What surprised me is that you can feel the weight of what you're lifting uh, and the amount that things swing around so you can feel yourself trying to lift that weight in a funny way. Uh, but did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. Would you do it again? I'd do it again, absolutely. <laughs>